Hi, welcome to the season premiere of Variety Tech Today with a look at the IMAX 3D film Flight of the Butterflies. If this sounds like a great subject for a 3D film, that's because it is. There are a number of money shots you would expect. Just like particle effects work great in 3D, like snow falling around you, so it is here, except the particles are bigger and they're butterflies. There's also some really nice but random 3D pop-outs, such as this shot of a farm vehicle shooting hay right at you. This shot was so good I rewound it to watch again. Anyway, this film is the amazing story of multiple generations of butterflies and how they miraculously go to a very small location as part of their travels. Some computer animation is also used to show the incredible heights this insect flies at and the 3D really emphasizes the experience. The story follows the reenactment of real-life couple Fred and Nora, who for decades researched the mystery of where these butterflies disappeared to, and with the help of another couple finally found that magical location in a touching scene. I'm not sure if these scenes were filmed in 3D or converted, the credits do list a post-production company called Dimension with an X, and one of the things they apparently do is conversion, but it isn't made entire entirely clear. This wouldn't be unprecedented as another IMAX film, Secrets of the Pharaohs, filmed the on-location scenes in true 3D while converting the reenactments. Regardless, the main parts of this film were recorded in true 3D with a twin red camera rig. There were dual screens for preview while filming. And there was a passive polarized monitor on site to check out the footage. Using this, they were able to get some great close-up shots throughout the life of a butterfly, from its caterpillar stage through its metamorphosis and beyond, including the mother delicately laying eggs on leaves, which is beautiful to watch. But they took it a step beyond and were able to get extreme 3D close-ups of caterpillar eggs and the baby hatching. How was that possible? With a very small prism for the 3D rig, they were able to capture the baby hatching and eating its tiny transparent egg. I was wondering why this footage looked less clear than the rest, but the shooting method revealed in the extras explains it and it was worth it to get a true 3D bug's eye view on such an incredibly small scale of such an adorable subject. All in all, this was a no-brainer for a 3D documentary and a great addition for a 3D collection. The Blu-ray of this film comes with both the 4K and the 3D versions. Um, however, I tested the 4K version and it has the unusual choice of offering both uh, 4K with HDR and standard 4K without HDR. Um, th honestly, it's not that great of an upgrade. If you had to choose one, 3D is definitely the far bigger choice. I mean, I would usually always say that about 3D, but I think in this case it's even more clear. Um, the 4K has a very marginal increase in clarity, if any. And the HDR, I actually think it looks worse. Um, it just seemed like awkwardly high levels of saturation. Uh, kind of reminiscent of the early days of color films where the saturation was so pumped up in, in early Technicolor films just to emphasize the fact that it was color for a novelty. Well, that's what this HDR is reminiscent of. The normal version and the 3D version still have great color, but they're less distracting and the 3D is really where the wow factor is at. Speaking of 3D movies about insects, you know what time it is. Shameless self-promotion time. Real Bugs 3D is now on Blu-ray. The main film itself is 51 minutes with an hour and a half of 3D extras on a variety of topics. And you know what? I'm going to come right out and say it. The 3D here is even stronger than Flight of the Butterflies. There is a lot of powerful parallax in this film that really puts you in their world. Lots of pop-outs including, yes, butterflies, but also bumblebees, spiders, and spider webs, which work amazingly in 3D, by the way. 
if you've got a good system with properly calibrated colors, there won't be any ghosting and you'll be in for a very immersive experience. I'll see you next time.